we thought that we were going to do the talk in Spanish and the, the, the PowerPoint in English. But then we um, had a second talk and we were going to try something different to make it in English so everyone can understand. So I'm going to start uh, by explaining uh, why we need to and then the So as you can see, we try to be inclusive um, because the work is uh, a gender perspective. So yeah, we are interested in this situation. Okay, so uh, this uh, master in the union is uh, to prepare people to be teachers. Uh, we were supposed to plan uh, like a, a, a design of uh, materials. <coughs> I get Sally here. Um, she is interested in so many things, uh, but especially she wanted to do something with the teaching of human evolution, but uh, from a gender perspective. And um, so she, she has um, a lot to say, but to begin, uh, the, the title, which is a uh, very different to me because they don't have a, 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 a gender in, well, the, the, the title can be to from ancestor to conquer, uh, teaching human evolution with a gender perspective. Which in Spanish can be read uh, as a screen, right? Um, okay. I, I don't know in French. French is like French. Okay. Oh, this is better. Okay, well, let's see. So we organized this talk. Uh, we're going to first give you. Um, Introduction, uh, her interest to, to perform this uh, research. Then, of course, there's a problem, uh, a problem which she wants to, to deal with. Um, after, of course, there's a problem, also the reactions. So, here we want to talk about the reactions, maybe from women wanting to criticize this hegemonic view of. Uh, of women's past that has shaped the narratives that we have in our heads thinking about the uh, paleolithical uh, women, women uh, well, that established like the gender roles we have uh, in, in, in today's world. And then she has thought about some problem, uh, about some possible solutions, and then we're going to do a conclusion. So um, the purpose was, uh, I, as, as you may know or remember, uh, interested in scientific representation. Now was uh, like uh, the epistemology of images. Uh, she wanted to work with evolution, so it was perfect to work with images because uh, mainly from, uh, to study the past, one relies very much in, in, in images and pictures. So uh, the other thing that uh, came to our attraction, next one, <laughs> no, let me, was this idea uh, of many, was another thing in the 80s, the biology has ideology. <laughs> um, especially when biology deals with the study of humans. So as I want to say, yes, um, we can study quarks, we can study snails, we can study jellyfish and maybe be objective. But when we look at humans and try to understand them, there's no way we can be objective. And there's a lot of ideology behind it. Um, and so what we wanted to, to study is that these underlying an ideology sometimes uh, Sometimes are uh, deliberately made to justify the status quo. 
or to um, to pay them the quality, like uh, in terms of rate funding. Okay, so the main question or research question of I study was. Um, do we in the case of human evolution have been charged with ideology? Because um, we are used to looking at them, and sometimes we don't question if they're women or if they're only white women or Caucasian women. And so, if, if there's ideology, what sort of proposal there are to give a more accurate picture of humans' past? That frees itself from biases, prejudices, and stereotypes. Okay, so this was the, the uh, this was yeah the, the research question. And now I'm gonna um, show you the problem, so you can see that <laughs> it, it's a good one and very interesting. So um, we are going to talk about two problems. One is this uh, stereotypical images of women and men in these pictures of human past. So we, we can classify, well, this is our classification. Maybe it can be classified as women in one Um So one uh, way of stereotyping is in language. Uh, inclusive or not, because uh, at five years I say on Tuesday, uh, it's sometimes equally important what you say than what you don't say, right? Um, so the use of language normally, um, it's, it's a generalization of man as, uh, as human species. Again, I don't know in, in, in English, but I think in Spanish, um, when you say about the humanity, it's in multiple similarities in some animals. What do you say about what you say? That we don't say? Well, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, then, of course, if uh, you see maybe this is this illusion, maybe now you're going to look at them more. Um, in a normative way, and you're gonna really notice that the number of women in the situation is really, really, really minimal in textuals, magazines, paintings, etc. And the other is, of course, there are more male authors. Um, the hegemonic narrative that, that we have had today was uh, constructed in the 70s, um, no, in the 60s. Uh, so it's definitely um, patriarchal. Uh, so these all, all, all these stereotypes uh, leads us to uh, all these problems um, that we really throw thinking that um, that the natural way of evolution is great. So there's androgynism. Um, there's racism, biological uh, determinism, and well, well the more adaptationism. Um, and here, the, the one that really shocks me is this biological determinism, because when you say that something is natural or biological, um, you need an opinion, right? Uh, so it's like in uh, nature, it's redundant. Of, um, so that, that, that means that if the priority of women is a natural thing, then it's uh, difficult to change it. Well, in people's mind, I mean, in the collective imaginary. So, um, some other reactions that we are going to see in the after. Are many, of course, many from women. Um, but I don't know why I say it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, from women. And uh, here again, uh, many Spanish women have uh, been uh, really interested in exposing the biases in this research. Uh, not, not research, but, but in the research behind this representation to show 
same lack of evidence. It's really, really a, a social construction that began in the 60s, and we are in a now see why. Uh, but these uh, refiners in, in research have uh, provoked that we have the idea of uh, reductionist, racist, paternalistic, and androcentric ideas in the evolution of women or, or evolution of humans. Because if you uh, know, uh, think on it, uh, women. Have not been part of evolution. We have been really civilized. Okay, so uh, for example, in a, in a study made by Kerol and before Gonzalez, um, women appear in only 10 to 30 percent of the uh, I don't know how many images in the study anymore. Right, but study many images. In which only 10 to 30 percent of the scenes uh, feature, I think, she wants to say women. And um, what is interesting is that um, the construction of gender roles was really evident. And you can see that men are always hunting and women are always in the in the family life, uh, inside, indoors, uh, they are gatherers. Uh, well, is this based on evidence? And uh, maybe later we can talk with Bernardo. <laughs> okay, well, it uh, happens that no, uh, no evidence. Uh, actually, evidence of newly found evidence shows the contrary that women also uh, were actively conscious. Okay, and this is um <laughs> okay then <laughs> the problem is that uh, we don't see what these gender roles as natural in the present um this assume that the representations and the conditions that accompany them come from proven knowledge. And therefore, fundamentally influence the imagination about the past, about the past, about, about the nature of women and the nature of men. And um, what, what can we uh, Okay, now, the, and the second problem, but I think this is a really different problem, is the model of the continent. We have uh, shaped our thinking about the paleolithic. Do you want to continue? Or? Um, okay. well, that was the variety I was referring to. <laughs> but maybe we are speaking to the two of us. Well, I can, I can keep on if you want. Um, she's a little child with her English. <laughs> But she has won many prizes. Uh, she recently won a scholarship from the European Research Science Academy uh, to do this kind of research. They are really interested in, in the gender perspective of the human past. Sorry, that was an Okay, so uh, there is this problem of the human hunter. Um, maybe began from Darwin's uh, writings. Um, Maybe this is a, a, an adventurous statement, but Darwin, uh, well, I would highlight the value of continuity of human progress, and he specifically talk about men. Uh, maybe you can say we are being uh, um, an anachronist, or uh, what's the other word for anachronism? Presently, right? But uh, it's interesting that in Darwin's era, um, there was a, a strong reaction from many women uh, that pointed that maybe he was being uh, a little too uh, manly in charge. <laughs> I know how to say it. 
Uh, but these are for really interested uh, Victorian women that um, show that we've been androcentric, uh, maybe without limits. So this uh, start, started this debate about whether, in reality, men were hunters and women were uh, gatherers that really shaped the way our society works even today. Okay, um this is something um, practical. Um, following the appearance of Darwin's the origin of mind. Anthony B. Blackwell published The Sex True Nature, a critic of the endocentrins of Darwinian theory because it's assuming male evolutionary super, superior theory. Um, she wrote uh, um, Descartes. Um, um, Mr. Darwin has used a great deal of the time to know how the male has probably assured certain additional main characters, but he does not seem ever to take through a considering whether or not the female have developed equivalent female characters. Um, the problem uh, this, uh, will the men hunt up and develop their planning, cooperation and communication skills and build the first artist objects. The woman supposed to remain in the best camp, do guttering and the shield care. Um, activities which, according to the explanation, do not require cultural development, but are carried or natural. And um, this uh, we see in the image, in this image, in this picture. Um, according to the more recent analysis, uh, analysis some of the best and most sophisticated archaeology and anthropologic practice have really reproduced a national racist classes and according to the most recently analyzed sexy, sex and androcentric understanding of the cultural past. Uh, actually, taphonomics uh, studies point of that empirical data from which to infer and interpret omin Behaviors are skilled and difficult to contrast, so that hypotheses about how the behavior of individuals and their social organization may have been can only be biased. This is pictures. Uh, <laughs> this picture show. Um, we know uh, people, uh, gente casa, <laughs> people, yeah, people, people hunter, hunting. people hunting. Uh, sin embargo, however, um, sin embargo, no se ve a esas mujeres. Oh, yeah. The thing here is that uh, these always have been interpreted as uh, men hunting. But it's impossible just to look at this to woman say that they were truly men. Um, um, the of course, um, after there's a problem, then there are reactions. Uh -huh. um, okay. More women, um, Marilyn Pitou Metis, Martinez Pulido, Angela Esquerol, and Elena Hernandez Carrancho carried out several studies in which they analyzed the text of creationists and evolutionists from the um, 19th and 20th centuries in them, the assumption of family inferiority stand. Um, for example, um, of the reference for the teaching of biology, evolution, and, the, and therefore of human evolution in Charles Darwin. Um, Hernandez, this author, Hernandez, emphasized in his Appreciate that the ideas that Darwin and many other scholars 
of his time had about women were beliefs rooted in the collective imagination, uh, which had previously been philosophies, be such illustrious theories as Rousseau, Diderot, and Montesquieu. Sally Linton, in her article, uh, the article, uh, important article, The Female Gutter and the Centric Biceps in Anthropology, criticizing uh, the idea of the male hunter as the driving force of human evolution. Linton argues that among hunter gaps, women were able uh, to gather enough food to provide for themselves and their young signs, according to what has been found in the fossil record. Uh, gathering in these societies accounted for the bulk of the diet. Okay, so in this uh, culture, contributed to a transition from nomadism to semitism and enabled the development of the arts and sciences, leading to the flourishing of ancient civilizations. An example of this is the research of Brian Ken and colleagues who hypothesized that there may be a close relationship between the origin of our culture and the spread of the world. Um, more stories. So, uh, there are many stories, uh, stories that not only suggest that our relatives live in socially complex communities, but that in society in strong, vigorous, and self sufficient women most likely participated in community life as active subjects. Um, and this is really interesting uh, because uh, this has changed. Uh, in many ways, what we think about women in the past. Uh, there was uh, the discovery of uh, two burials in Chile, uh, one with the bones of a 9,000 year old woman, accompanied by a toolbox of 20 stone, stone projectile points and blade spider. Um, so, uh, this is really interesting because. Uh, there are many men. I, I, I think there were nine women. Um, uh, what, what, what uh, they were uh, buried with their weapons. So it's clearly uh, uh, an evidence that women also were hunters. Um, and so um, many women uh, proposed new ideas. Or you know ways to look at this uh, at this evidence, especially to try to change the this hegemonical narrative that we have. Um, maybe not only to well, yeah, to change the way we think, but to change the, the, the collective imaginary and make us uh, wonder if there's like a, a different possible world, right? <laughs> So uh, this is the, like the, the world of women in human evolution because, as I said before, women were individualized uh, impressively during uh, several decades. Um, this is the uh, political man is also a woman, and of course the other one is also uh, the human evolution in feminism. So, uh, what, what, can we, what can we do with all of this? Uh, Agatali is also really, really interested in gender studies. So, of course, uh, this is a topic that has for a gender perspective and for the human religion. Um, so, well, I'm not going to complete what a gender perspective refers to. We are in time. But uh, one of the things he is proposing is to name the, 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 the visual representations, of course, that feel agony to everyone. Because maybe they do not realize that we are those who are privileged. Um, but uh, show, show me some of the images. Um, 
Uh, you know, uh, more but you, you can, uh, if, if I tell you how the human evolution, many, many of you have been much of progress, uh, and it's always for uh, calculation, right? Uh, if you imagine evolution of a tree, uh, the, the, the branch of human are visual, all from the human by the name. And um, so, uh, this is what we are trying to change. Uh, not only in this present research of inclusion, but this work evidence show that we may have a really important uh, role in the evolution of home. So, um, I guess I have been working with analysis. Um, just to show you what this is. This, uh, this is one. Uh, so, uh, we think that this is a, a great step to, to try to change the, the collective imaginary of how we uh, look at these uh, first uh, ancestors. So, uh, no, before, there you can, it's really easy. Uh, so, there's only uh, putting some uh, DNA process, right? Since this uh, uh, the late past. And then, uh, well, this, this is uh, not so entirely of like a creation, but uh, in the article that explained this discovery in Chile, uh, the cover is one of the first in, in science advances. Um, the cover was um, a similar uh, picture of women on team. And then, of course, uh, I, I think we, it's not so complicated just to include women on team. Um, so, in this way, <laughs> We think we can change the the vision that we have. Not also, not only sorry, of the past, but also to question to, to question if there are really uh, human nature, which is really inevitable, and to be really aware of the biases, biases, stereotypes. <laughs> what are the things that we encounter when we have to study uh, human evolution? Uh, that's it, and uh, thank you very much for your attention.